Hi, everybody. Uh, I have the dryer on. Um, okay. I'm. I was gonna show y'all how I acquired that marbleized look and the plasticky paper. And let's see if this works this time. I used uh, Elmer's glue. Well, the first time, I think I used this glue, the Dollar Tree glue, the Jot. And um, then I tried it with Elmer's glue, and it was like, it didn't work very well. So let's see if this works. So. You don't want it too thick on there. So it's okay if some comes off. And just, um, I do it on a page that I'm going to clean it off on later uh, when I'm through. So there you have that. And then just start picking your colors. In dark shadows. I don't know if that's. I guess I better turn it off. So, and then just get whatever colors you like. alcohol ink. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and it's good to get some um, throughout the like not to leave too many white places. Okay, and then my granddaughter had uh, some visitors, and I had to buy two of those <laughs> two packages to get rid of them. And so the lowly knit comb has become a tool for marbleizing. So you, you go one way, and then you come in between the other way and it does work better with the Dollar Tree glue because it's thinner so yeah it works way better and just keep an eye where your times are going get those nice effects like that and I like that so I will I forgot to get my card stock see if I can reach something over here that I already liked yes and I just do it on some card stock that I have lying around and then just don't smash it too much just but you know just give it a bit of a smash and lift it up and it'll look like um like a mess like nothing like it didn't go right but once you I just use a gift card and 
scrape it off. And there you have it. So I can get that other bit off. So there's one. And really? I have no idea. Okay, sorry. Um so then you can just go ahead and add some more. Uh, a little more glue Take your altered knit comb and go down one row at a time and then you can come back up in between your previous lines. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my glue. My glue thingy. And scrape it off. doesn't go to waste because I just go ahead and scrape this all and if you want you can put more colors in it but I just you know I just take that and scrape it all off and then just smear it all over my page. I don't know if this will do anything now. <laughs> uh, maybe. A little something. But just scrape it off and spread it everywhere. 
And this is just the, uh, oops. I have like two desks, but they're both full. Um, Scrape it off, you get like the same effect like when you scrape it off with the cardstock. And you still get that kind of look. I'm gonna just try and cover up the as much as I can. And okay, so now that's all spread out, and then what I do. save them and then just put it on top, smash it down. Like when Amy showed us how to make the plasticky paper, that's kind of where, when I had all that leftover glue, I didn't want it to go to waste so I decided to go ahead and give it a try and it works out great. Let me get smear it out. This one to get plasticky. I can go ahead and put it on there. But I'll just probably just cover it with um, some some of this stuff, gloss medium. So that's how I do marble paper with a knit comb. The lowly knit comb it now has another use. Uh, so there you go. That's it. And thank y'all for watching. Oh, and then I was gonna show you, like, with the plasticky paper, uh, you can um, if I can find it. Here's an ATC I made with plastic heat paper in the background. And then I painted, drew these, and colored them in with um, those oil pastels. So, yeah. So, there's use for the plastic heat paper. So, that's it. And thank y'all for watching. Y'all take care. Bye bye. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to come back on and show you the results from the plastic heat paper that I made. Cereal bag, and there we go. So that's it. And um, like I said, it can be used for collage, or I think you could even cut it into strips for like homemade washi. last part of that. So I hope y'all found it interesting. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.